today working on the 2004 Dodge Neon and we're going to be changing the lug nuts on the uh, last three wheels over to some ARP so I got for the front ARP uh, 100, 7.7 and 2.1 this is the front end ones and uh, changing these out so last fall when I was uh, getting ready to race this in autocross I ended up um, snapping the stud putting the wheels back on there you've got over 160,000 miles on them so it's probably you know many times wheels been put on you know, taken off uh, over that lifetime I just weakened them plus then I was racing it and uh, yeah puts a little stress on them although it's no longer going to be raced by me I'm getting ready to sell this uh, neon so just doing a little bit of uh, finalized work you know getting these replaced that way they're all the same setup uh, as opposed to what it looks like right now this side's already been replaced so but uh, yeah it's not too hard of a job but you gotta pull the hub off in order to get the ARPs pressed in because they are longer than the uh, stock ones but uh, we'll do that on all four. But I'll just go through the process on one in front, one in the back uh, in the video. But uh, thanks for watching. And uh, let me know if you like it. All right, we've got to get the uh, brakes out of the way. So, where I broke loose the. Uh, Caliper mounting bolts. Up out of the way. There's the rotor off. Now you can see oh, I had a rock stuck up in the uh, behind the rotor. Okay, you can see here, there's a notch in the plate. That's where you can, you can rotate and punch these out. But the longer ones, you can't quite get in that behind here because of this part. So in order to actually get the new ones on, you've got to take off the hub. So basically remove the uh, axle and then pull the hub out. So, but we'll move on to that. So remove this cotter pin. Out, cover, and then the wavy washer. Set those aside, and then we got the axle nut. I 
got some that's off. You see these bolts are splined. You see this one? No, nope, that one's flat. That was on the top. Or not flat, but straight. This one. I guess these ones don't do any camber adjustment. Alright, so now that that's out of the way, I can pivot. Now we'll wash her. Now we got the axle out of the way. We can proceed with pressing out the uh, hub.
didn't quite catch that on the video right there, but the hub is starting to uh, pull off. Okay, so I've got everything connected and I'm starting to uh, tighten up and it's pulling the uh, hub out. Alright, just keep going with that. I'll be back. There we go. So now the hub is off. We can take it over to the press. Press out these. So we've got it, the hub came out, as you saw. Now we can take apart the tool. There's our hub. And uh, we'll just clean that up a little bit. Press out these. So let's go over to the press. Might not have enough room for the long ones to press them in, but we'll see. I know I have enough room to press these out. It's two out. Get that up a little bit more.
to. So, the new wheel studs are in, and now it's time to press the hub in, so it'll go back in, here, okay, and when it goes in, we got the tool set up on this side. Got a cup right there. Well, cup into the part of the hub. Like that, like so. This go down on. It presses against the back of the hub, the bearing race. Looks like right there. Kind of centers it up with that little notch. And then the other side. Third end, which we'll use to uh, crank it down on. Threw a little grease in here to get some grease on those bearings. Bearing. didn't look too bad, but have them open, I'll just throw a little bit of grease in there, did the same thing on the other side. Probably the part that takes the longest, just getting the tool completely set up. Because again, this tool's been pretty, pretty awesome. Okay, so what happened was the top part of the bearing had come loose, so I had to get it basically all lined up. I couldn't had to move the camera out of the way to get that done. But now it is. Tightening up straight and nicely. Let's move it right up into the, where it needs to be. Look at this. Finish up here in just a couple minutes. You know when it's done, when it bottoms out, and it just won't go no further. It's kind of what I was getting before. There's no wobble to it. Except it didn't have the same bottom out feel. So, now we'll go the other direction and take off the tool.
No wobble. Looks good. Washer, not so that. Get the torque setting on that before we actually put the rest of it back together. about where they were at, and that looks to be Speed this along a little bit. We'll get the uh, torque settings for these. We'll get the torque setting for that axle nut. But there we go.
there we go. That is the replacement. Wheel studs with ARP wheel studs which are extended and a lot harder but um, probably didn't need to go with those now that I'm selling the car but that's what I had and I wanted to replace them all um, and uh, hopefully whoever gets this car enjoys it it's been a great car for us uh, hopefully get it sold if they want to race it the uh, back lug nuts are a little bit easier to uh, remove than the uh, front ones on the back we simply have to remove the hub assembly but first you know we have to remove the rotor I'm mean, sorry, the drum. I've already done the other side. I haven't touched this other and this side other than removing the uh, wheel. So there we have that exposed. Now, I've got to move this cap. It's behind this cap is the. Uh, Effectively, the axle nut which holds the uh, bearing assembly, this hub assembly, in place. That it's about a 30 millimeter. That's what I got that works. Seems unfortunately all I have it in is a regular chrome 12 point. Wouldn't normally do that, but necessity. It is a nylock. So, but then it's, it's that simple. The uh, bearing runs smooth, no grinding, no binding. So now. I had done these brakes, replaced a lot of this componentry uh, last year before I raced it. And now it looks to be fine. Um, not had any problems with brakes. Sway bar, which this model didn't normally come with a sway bar, but I put that on there last year again before I uh, raced it. Tightened it up quite a bit. But, um, Everything seems looks good. I the Moog shocks strut assembly front and rear uh, were put on a couple years ago. But uh, let's go ahead and get these pressed out. Okay, so pressing out the old lug nuts or uh, wheel studs. A little bit of lube on there, see if it helps. The other side, it didn't seem to make much of a difference. Took a lot of uh, tension. So, trying to uh, add a little bit of extra safety, I had placed the C clamp. such a way as to try to lock the hub down to keep it from 
keep the hood from flying off. It didn't fly off from the last time, but it did uh, pop pretty good. Before I put that on there. Just like that. Four more to go. Okay, now the uh, way the hub is shaped, I can't actually get in to press the bolts, the uh, uh, new studs in. So what I'll do is what I had to do before was take the. Put them in, and I go this way, put them on, take a washer, this is from the hub grappler kit, that's not what it's for, you should actually use one that's got a conical shape to it so that the uh, lug nut doesn't get stuck, but for the most part it comes out without a lot of extra effort, okay, so once it's lined up, we can use the uh, impact and it'll set it down in place. Alright, so you can see. There you go. Now we'll just repeat that. Repeat that four more times. Here we go. According to Chilton's manual, I have that's a 180 foot pound. Dust cap there. Let's give it a tap, 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 tap. Oop. Too many taps on that side. Let me get my flat on.
we go. That is the replacement of the rear wheel studs with ARP wheel studs, which are extended and a lot harder, but um, probably didn't need to go with those now that I'm selling the car, but that's what I had and I wanted to replace them all. Um, and uh, hopefully whoever gets this car enjoys it. It's been a great car for us. Uh, hopefully get it sold. If they want to race it, it didn't do too bad, HS class. Uh, it's not fast, but it'll get you to understand a little bit about, you know, the concepts, uh, make it a little better driver. And these are 15 inch rims. You can get uh, decent uh, autocross tires like uh, the F Goodrich or even the, um, what I got for the Impreza, uh, which are uh, Bridgestone for Tenzas. You can get those uh, hold up a lot better than these did, but these are also older and uh, a lot cheaper. You know, probably around 115 to 130 uh, because they are 15 inch on this rim. So, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Tell your friends. I know I don't do you uh, too much, but. Uh, I do have fun, and uh, let me know what you think. Thanks.